here we have our muscle contraction model. Now up here, uh, this pink uh, pipe cleaner is a neuromuscular junction. Up here is the sacrophasmic rectum. Right here we have our calcium ion. And down here we have our thin filaments, which is made up of actin, triphonin, and triphonin line. Now down here we also have our myosin and our thick filaments, as well as our ATP. Now to start it off, our brain sends signals to the neuromuscular junction, which then sends signals to the sacroplasmic rectum, which then releases calcium ions into the thin filaments. Okay, once the sacroplasmic releases calcium ions, the calcium ions are connected to the actin and troponin, which causes the AD, ADP and phosphorus, the myosin, to activate and connect to the actin. Here, the calcium ions are absorbed through the myosin, and as this process is going, the thin filament is, is moving, which causes a muscle contraction. At, while this is going on, ATP is being created. As Once ATP is finally created and it is connected to the myosin, it relaxes, which cancels out the muscle contraction, and eight, the myosin... The myosin finally breaks down the ATP and bring, breaks it down to a ADP and phosphorus to f start over the process all over again. When you die, your body stops producing ATP. And since ATP is what moves the myosin into moving your thin filament, this causes your body to lock as your muscles are constantly being contracted.